Hello faggots, Kippy Kip here. Today I am going to show you how to keep an older version of Chrome without it updating ever. This will work because we're gonna block the computer from modifying the old version of Chrome we will replace it with. We're also gonna block it completely from trying to download the new one at all. The reason we will do this is because the latest version of Chrome block 10p API support, meaning special plugins like Java, Unity and Shockwave Player will not work anymore. This is a bullshit move Google. Anyway the hardest part believe it or not will be finding the binaries of an older version of Chrome. The website oldamps.com used to have older versions of Chrome but now Google got them to stop. File Hippo has some old versions too, but they're not standalone installers so that the installers will just download the latest Chrome. Luckily for you, I found an older version of Chrome on one of my older hard drives. This is version 39.0.2171.95 by the way. So let's get started. First of all you're going to need basically any version of Chrome if you haven't already. So hold on while I download Chrome on my virtual machine. Finally. So right now I've got the latest version of Chrome as of today. So let's get on to downgrading this shitty version back to when it was good. First let's navigate to C, Program Files x86, Google, Chrome, Application. This is where we're going to do our dirty work. Now I'm not sure if this will work under Windows XP as we will be toying with the permissions. Anyway we're going to have to enable file extensions for this job. You do this in Windows 7 by pressing Alt, on your keyboard, then click in Tools, then Folder Options, then the View tab. Uncheck Hide Extensions for known file types. Now you can see it has an exe at the end of Chrome. Now let's clean up all this shit by moving it in a folder, or deleting it. For fuck's sake just move it in the fucking folder. Now let's copy the binaries from Chrome 39. Don't worry I will put a link in the description for this. Now what we're going to do is impersonate an updated Chrome file name. So if Chrome tries to update it we'll end up not having permission to override this file. So make a text file on your desktop or something called new underscore chrome.exe. Click yes. Now let's move it in that folder we put chrome39 in. Now watch carefully. Right click on new chrome.exe and hit properties. Check read only and hit apply. Now go to the security tab and click advanced. Then click change permissions. Uncheck this box and click remove on the dialog box. Now click add, and type in users and click OK. Check full control on the deny section and click OK. Now just in case, let's do the same thing except this time, type in administrators. Now you will get a warning saying that because we put deny on all the boxes, nobody will be able to access or modify this file, which is what we want so Chrome doesn't fucking update behind our backs. So just click yes. Now to make it even harder for anything to modify this file we're going to change the owner of the file to another user. To do this go to the owner tab and click edit. Now Windows has a couple other built in users but I'll be typing the system user in the box. Now click ok about 100 times and you done one half. Right click on chrome.exe and hit properties. Now check read only and click apply and then click continue. Now go to the security tab and click advanced. Then click change permissions. Uncheck this box and click remove on the dialog box. Now click add, and type in users. Fuck I didn't spell it right. Anyway click ok. We are going to check very specific ones. On the allow section, check Travis folder, check list folder, check read attributes. Check read extended attributes, check read permissions. Now make the ones you didn't check set to deny except for full control. Oops, fuck. Click OK. That looks pretty fucking good. 
so click OK. You will get the deny warning again. All we did is make Chrome.exe only have read permissions so the file cannot be modified if Chrome tries to update. So click yes, we are going to change the owner again to system like we did before. Now click OK like 100 times again. Congratulations! Now we have the old version of Chrome on here and it will never fucking update again. But there's still a few more things to do. We need to delete the save data from the newer Chrome we replaced before otherwise it won't load properly. So go to application data by going and start and searching for percent app data percent and hit enter. Now we need to go up one level and click on local, then Google, then Chrome. Now as you can see, these are the settings for the newer Chrome we had installed before where we replaced it with Chrome 39, but we want clean Chrome settings so we will need to delete it or rename Chrome to something else. There we go. Now let's run Chrome now and see if it worked. I'm just going to speed it up a bit as it's taking a while. Now let's see what version we're running. Oh fuck yeah mate, we're running version 39. Hooray, lol. Do you wanna see what happens when you click relaunch? Ha 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 take that Chrome. Alright so let's load one of my favorite Java games, Powder Game. Gotta click the Java applet link because this site was kind enough to port the game to HTML5. Fuck, hold on a second, I forgot to get Java. Now the Java is installed, I'm going to restart Chrome so hold on. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Flash Player will be outdated due to using an older version of Chrome but I'll show you how to update Chrome's built-in Flash Player. Fuck sake Chrome blocked Java, hang on. Yay! On PAPI plugins work again. Now I can play the Java version of Powder Game. Yay! So now I'm gonna show you how to update Flash. Click the update plugin button on the top the next time you encounter a site using Flash. Lol. Google suggests we update Chrome, fuck that after all we just went through. But we're going to do the second option where it says, Chrome Components. So copy it and put it in the URL. Now where it says, Pepper Flash, click the check for update button. Tad -da. Now we have the latest Flash on Chrome 39. I hope this video helped you as it took fucking ages to make. I will put the Chrome 39 binaries in the description of this video. Bye.